Naughty boy. Night scheme, baby. Hey guys, Harry Prescott here, and uh, tonight I'm going to show you how to set up for night skis. So, step one, um, figure out who's going to take the sled into where, and then they're probably going to grab this little hole that I'll show you now. Alright, so we've just finished pack <laughs> we've just finished packing up Tower's chair. Kenny's done a lovely park here. And now we've got Des who's just come over from Sun Valley. What are you gonna do for us, Des? I'm gonna put the lights on the chairs. Yeah. We're gonna put the lights on the chairs for night ski. Alright, let's do this. Alright guys, so the Sun Valley person uh, has headed up with a floater to Fex Top. Um, and they're gonna chuck some lights on the chairs for us. Um, the other job they have to do, which we might get to first, is actually uh, putting up the night ski rope. Um, but I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, we pretty much want the groomer to do a couple of passes and then we'll do that. So, the first light, for a big red here, come on down over here, there's a light switch here. And then the rest of them we get from the back of the sled. And here is my ride just in time. Alright, so we're here with big red. Here's Harrow, <laughs> and we've got our uh, night ski pole, which, look, if it's the break in the future, guys, it's just an extended ski pole. I cut a notch in it a while ago, but honestly, you don't really need it. It's kind of more just to flick the light, so I'll we'll hop on and I'll show you what we do. And it went like... two light switches on the container there's one back there no idea what it does but this one down here is a light so make sure you get this one all right guys just got to last hoot so we're going to go inside here there's another light Good, you'll spring the lifties having a pre-work dinner. And the light switch is just up here. And then there's another light switch just here on tower two. Ah! Night skiing, baby. And then there's another two switches here, guys, which are for those two floodlights up there. Um, when you're at the next one, I'm explaining to whoever's doing night ski about these timer lights here, which is hiding behind everything, because um, they will only stay on for two hours, and eventually they will. So that's actually for all of the lights underneath the station here. So. Alrighty guys, we're back up top, I've just put the pole away, uh, as you can see the lights are on the chairs now, so uh, it's every 10 on, 10 on, so if, you, if you're missing a few, don't worry, you're not actually missing any lights. Um, so we're going to run out here, this is the night ski rope, or one of, um, just pull him out. Lovely Desiree's already put these little forky bits out, so it's pretty straightforward. You're just going to sit the rope straight in like that. Simples. Now, when you do this, guys, um, generally the corner is where we tighten it from. So we'll join this rope with the other rope that's on Drovers. Um, and then we'll extend that corner out to get the tightness in the rope. Hopefully that makes sense. 
Um, the other thing too is there is another rope over by the helipad, so uh, we'll head over there in a minute and I'll explain that. Um, we've also got these lights here. So as you're walking over, behind this snow making pad here, there's this weird looking panel box. On the side here, there's actually a light switch, so flick him to on and that'll do the three. Alrighty guys, we're in driver's top. As you can see, this rope here has been pulled out, um, so that's joined onto the other one at Fex top there. And then what we're going to come up, do is come up here, assess the ramp. Ah, that's not too bad. And uh, someone's already got them, but there's some more light switch here. Attention, all radio has got a winch cat hooked up working on the So uh, yeah, flick them to on. And then I also like to turn the floodlights on as well, which is already is on. Um, and so this light switch here controls all the ones down the snow gun line, um, all the way down to Big Red. So at the end of the night when you're turning them off, um, just make sure that patrols come through um, and you've got a pretty good indication that they're below Big Reds because they got a few signs and whatnot that they have to put out and yeah, it's not too much fun being left in the dark, but I'm sure they'll let you know about it if you do it. Alright, so uh, that's the rope set up. Um, and like I said before, we just tighten it at the corner. Now, the helipad one still needs to be done, so we'll go do that. Alright, so here we are at the heli rope. Night ski rope. So yeah, you're just going to pull that out. Grab in. And pull them out to the helipad. And then you kind of just hook him onto whatever's going to give you the right tension here. So I usually go into this thing here, hook him in like that. <clears throat> now come to under the hut, where you'll find the door where we keep the heli rope stuff. <clears throat> we actually leave a couple of night ski doohickeys in here. Yeah, that's the heli ropes. We've also got the big long line out. All the lights are on. We know the lights are on the chairs. Um, so yeah, now I usually, what are we, 540? I usually use this time to check in with the top, um, make sure that they're trained, as well as the bottom. So, um, like I said, the main thing is just loading people on chairs with lights. Um, and then down the bottom, it's those uh, lights in the station on the two hour timer. So just make sure that the lifty knows where they are because um, they don't, we don't want them going out on the lifty. All right, guys, so we're here in the night. It's, uh, what are we, 8.40. So 8.45 is last chairs. Um, once 8.45 hits, <coughs> these guys are gonna start taking the lights off of the chairs. Real mature text. <laughs> yeah, they'll take, start, start taking the lights off the chairs. Um, mention uh, this is the north side floodlight so if we him to on um, and that's just the one out the front of uh, effects up here um, there's also another one in the workshop which is uh, out near the door here and that's outside floodlight so just flick him to on and then yeah, that'll be the one out here. Um, cool, so we'll go start packing up the heli rope. And then we'll just chuck these stakes back in under the helipad. <clears throat> just keep in mind guys while you do this, um, people can still access the rope, so just keep an eye that no one ducks out that way. Alrighty guys, so I just uh, ran along on the uh, top rope here, and I've just pulled out all the stakes. So I've just reeled in the, the drover's reel. Um, like I said just before, looking the whole time to make sure that people don't duck through the helipad there. Um, if they do, just give them a quick whistle or a word. Uh, generally, people are pretty good. They 
probably duck down low where I can't see him, so there's no huge man, I guess you can do about that. Um, so yeah, then make your way to Fex Top. We'll reel this bit in. Usually by now, um, the guys have gotten most of the lights off of the chairs. Um, and if not, they wouldn't be far off. So by the time I reel this in, it'll be time to uh, take chairs off. <coughs> now the thing with that is that at 7, sorry not 7, 8.45, the towie from the bottom will jump on the chair. They'll come up and they'll give us a hand pushing the chairs. We then give them a ride home from here and then it's a good idea to head down um, and pick up the other towie. So yeah, we'll reel this bad boy in. Yeah, it's pretty much the reverse of what I did before, guys. So we went through, we pulled down the fence. We're going to get this light. Just looking down the run, I can see that there's two snowmobiles, so one of them very well may be patrol. Um, so, yeah, if you got, if you're not too sure, because we left chairs on tonight, um, yeah, they might still be doing their sweep. So I'll just jump on their channel. Harry to patrol. Are you guys clear past red for me to turn the lights off? Copy that, Rachel. Have a great night, guys. And then, yeah, switch back to Ops. Operations. Getting back in there. And remember, the light switch is just here. Chuck that hot one off, as well as the floodlight. Easy as that. Um, other thing to note for night ski, guys. Other thing to note for night ski. Um, once we get down to Mountain Office, you want to make sure that your FX bottom crew are back. So, yeah, we'll just go um, go pick them up down the road, provided that you got snow cover. <laughs>